All right, we want to give you another update on the breaking news that we've been following all day where two officers were shot while trying to serve a warrant. They're both in shock trauma right now, and so is Eddie Kadem, who is going to tell us more right now. Eddie? Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, one of the officers of Baltimore City Police Department, one with the Baltimore County Police Department. The good news is what we're hearing right now, they're both awake, they are aware, and they are expected to pull through one shot in the stomach, one shot in the leg. The one who was shot in the stomach went through surgery. We're told that it was a successful surgery and they are expected to be okay. Hopefully able to get back to the job as soon as possible, doing what they do best, getting back on the streets and putting bad guys in handcuffs. Now this all happens um, as the mayor came out earlier today, the governor, the uh, chief of police for Baltimore County, the commissioner for Baltimore City all coming out and uh, praising the heroism of these officers during this violent attack on this suspect as they were trying to serve a, or as they were serving a search warrant for the suspect who was uh, wanted for a attempted murder in Pennsylvania. We're working to get more information on the suspect in this case. What we do know right now is that the suspect was a former correctional uh, official for the state of Maryland. Details on that very limited, but we're going to continue working to get more information on that. My colleague Ray Strickland, he's over at the scene at Mount Pleasant Church. It's right across the street from where the shooting happened. And right now the pastor there, as this ongoing investigation continues, a lot of people can't get back into their houses. So the pastor is allowing those people to come inside the church, maybe get some uh, some warm food and some so just some warmth and so they can have somewhere to go if they have nowhere else to go at this point, if they can't go home. He's going to be there throughout the night. We're going to be here at Shock Trauma working to get updates on not only the victims, the police officers in this case, but the man who was shot, uh, who was killed in this entire uh, scenario here. And we're going to bring you the very latest team coverage coming up tonight on WMAR 2 News at 11. But for now, live at Shock Trauma, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. All right.